Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily Minecraft tutorial and today we're gonna be showing you how to get and use Mod menu for Minecraft 1.21.3 take it away Yeah, thank you. So I'm gonna do just that and To begin you first need to get the mods onto your computer so to begin to actually download the mods, you need to go to your web browser. It can be any web browser. Here we have Google Chrome. So just go on your web browser. Then we want to start by downloading mod menu. So to go on the mod menu, there will be either the link in the description or there will be simply needing to search it up. So just type mod menu Minecraft. Up and here we have the modern flank that will be in the description right here. By clicking here, we will have this page. Now this is the main page that we are interested in, but there will be way more mods to download to make this work. So to begin, this is the page we want. And to start downloading it, just go on the version tab right here. Just click that and here we will see game version and platforms. Now this is important because we need these to both match 1.21.3. Now this is quite easy as this has not gotten too many updates. It's right here, the first one. 1.21.3 and fabric. That easy. All we need to do is just click download. Now, if we click on this, we will have the page for this version specifically. And if we scroll down, we will see dependencies. We need to download two dependencies. First of all, it is placeholder API. Now myself, I'm not entirely sure why, but we need this, so we will download this. All we have to do is go to versions and find the same thing. This is the same idea, last month, fabric 1.21.3, kind of easy, there you go. And we want to go back to the previous tab because we need fabric API. This one's a bit more important. So let's just so let's just click on that. And once we're here, we will have the same page. And this one does not have any dependencies. All we need to do is just go on versions, just like placeholder API. And here we see the same thing. 1.21.3 fabric. Right? So we just want to download this one. Up. Now we have three mods on our computer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to download an extra mod because we need to be able to show mod menu working. So if you have a, a mod, all good. I'll just get sodium here just to add another mod to the mod menu list. You don't need to do this. This is just so I have something to show. Uh, here we can see uh, 1.1.3 fabric. This one would do just fine. So once we have mod menu, placeholder, fabric API, and the mod that you want to work on with mod menu, what you want to do is go on Fabric Minecraft. So this is a separate website. It will also be in the description. So just open up in your tab and search up Fabric Minecraft. Fabric Minecraft. There you go. Now we have fabricmc.net. Just click on that and click on the blue download button right here. A second time as well, download for Windows. And there you go. Now we have everything we need to get started. So let's just close the web browser. We won't be needing this anymore. And now we just need to open up the file manager to actually install Fabric. So to open up this, you just go on your file explorer, file manager. And what we need to do, we need to go in our downloads folder. For me, it is just the default downloads. If you have any other download destinations, you will have to go there. So here we have fabric install. This is the first step. What we need to do is just double click on that and we should have this showing up. We need to select 1.21.3 right here. And that's it. We just click install, it will install. If you didn't play 1.21.3 before, make sure you go to the Minecraft launcher to download the version. But as it's been a month or so since it's been released, you most likely played on that version and already have downloaded it onto your computer either way. So once we're done with this, we just click OK. And now we're kind of done. 
all we need to do is go into Minecraft. So this will be the Minecraft launcher we'll be using, the default Minecraft launcher. Let's just wait for Minecraft to open up so we can go to the final steps. So once we're here, let's just wait for Minecraft to show up. Here it is, Minecraft Java Edition. And as we just got the fabric loader, it will show up as the first thing because it's the latest update to the list of versions. What we need to do is quite simple. Now look closely. To go to the Minecraft mods folder, we need to do this. We go to installations up here. Then after this, we go to any one of these folder icons. Just to make it nice and understandable, just go on the one with the version 1.1.3. And we will have .minecraft. Now, as we have fabric, it adds an other folder called the mods folder, which is right here. All we need to do is just double click this and we will have an empty folder called mods. All we have to do is go to our downloads destination again. So for me, it's downloads right here and copy every single mod. Uh, so we just copy all the mods we want to use, including mod menu, fabric API, placeholder API. That's the default one. This one is the mod that we want to try to make it work. Once we have all these, we just copy it right here. And when we go to the top left, we will have something called back to mods. Just click that. It brings us back to the mods folder and just click paste. There you go. Now we have four mods or we might have three inside the mods folder. Here we're done with this as well. So all we need to do is go back to play and just click fabric loader 1.21.3. We can play on that. We'll just open up Minecraft 1.1.3 with mod menu and all the other mods we have downloaded as well. Let's just wait for that to load up and we will show you how to use mod menu. Okay, so Minecraft is opening up. Perfect. So once we're here, we see Minecraft 1.21.3, Fabric, and 55 mods, quote unquote. What this is, it is just that Fabric worked and we have this extra mods, a little button that shows up, which obviously does not show up when you have Fabric only. So that's a cool thing. It means that mod menu has worked. All we need to do is just go on the mods menu. So by clicking mods, right here and now we have this so this we have mods menu right here but we also have this right here right? so this it just shows us different mods that we can analyze and configure so for example we have this little button here and this mod so which is a micro base game lets you configure the options because that's just the base game mod menu lets you configure mod menu and sodium well it's the sodium so you can't really change anything but you might have other mods which will let you like the christmas mods because we need to know that santa needs to go nice and fast so if you need any mods that lets you fly faster in the air you can use the christmas mod as well just kidding that's not a thing but anyways hope you like the christmas cheers so once we have this open we have everything we want we have our mods including sodium and for example, to see if Fabric worked, all we have to do is go to single player or a server. And here, as the mod I'm using is the Sodium, all I have to do is up F3, and I have Sodium Renderer right here. So we will be able to see Sodium Renderer, so Sodium is indeed working as well. So, yeah, so that's how we install mod menu for Minecraft 1.21.3. So if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.